Alright, so let's take a quick look at a couple of compressors. We have a guitar sample here. And down here we have our typical Ableton compressor used throughout this tutorial. Next to that one we have the glue compressor which is also part of Ableton. Now depending on what you're working with you will experience differences between the controls available in different compressor plugins. But if we compare the glue compressor to the uh, standard Ableton compressor we are able to find all the controls we talked about in this tutorial also in the glue compressor. So quickly if we search for our threshold which was here we can find it here and I'm actually going to throw it on. And in this case it works by dragging down this knob and this meter shows the gain reduction. We have our attack up here. In this case we don't have a seamless attack knob but we have different stages. The same thing is true for the release knob but this one is slightly different from this release knob because here we are talking about milliseconds and here you can see those 0 0.1, 0 0.2 values and we are talking in seconds. So the smallest amount of release you can use is actually um, 100 milliseconds. And for the ratio it's the same thing. We have three stages of ratio. Ratio of 2 to 1, 4 to 1, 10 to 1. So it's not as seamless as it is in this standard Ableton compressor. We had this output control here which is basically the makeup here and the standard Ableton compressor we haven't talked about that before but it actually also has a makeup knob here that compensates automatically for your gain reduction. The Ableton built-in limiter and other limiters are basically also compressors but featuring a ratio of infinity to 1. So they're cutting off all the audio signal above the threshold. It doesn't have an attack knob because the attack is set to 0 milliseconds. And if we increase the gain here, this is basically input gain you're affecting the threshold with. So you can't adjust the threshold but you can adjust the input gain you're sending into the threshold which is just working the other way around. So basically what's happening here is you're setting the input gain that you're going to affect your threshold with because your threshold here is fixed. There's no threshold knob like in this compressor but it's just turned the other way around. You're not taking the threshold down but you're taking the signal up for example. You could also take it down but the threshold is fixed and you're pushing your input signal into the threshold. Let's quickly do this. Now we have reduction taking place here. And this concept of pushing the input signal into the threshold to affect the signal through this limiter or compressor can also be found in many old compressors and analog compressors. Now let's turn this off and move to the next compressor which is basically the CLA-2A and that is an emulation of an analog compressor and as we can see here we only have those two controls gain and peak reduction and over here we can switch the display mode from gain reduction to input and output. And also we have one knob here telling us to switch between limiting and compressing. So this more or less is our ratio. We can switch from having it in compressor mode to having it in limiter mode which should be nearly infinity or something or a very harsh ratio and this would be more a smooth compressing ratio. So as you can see we don't have any uh, attack and release controls. That's because inside of this compressor attack and release times are fixed. What we have is our peak reduction which is basically our threshold. So let's put this on. So you see we have gain reduction working here and this gain knob on the left hand side is our makeup. It would be this knob in this case or our, our output gain knob down here. So I'm putting that up.
Hi, my name is Francois and together with my friend Tom, I'm running a channel and website called Production Music Live. Sometimes I'm lying, I'm just lying, I'm still lying here with you. Have you ever had trouble finishing your tracks because you got stuck while trying to achieve a great sounding mix? Today we are going to mix this song from start to finish. And if I lose myself, what if I lose myself to you? We will enter the different mixing stages, we will go into detail on state-of-the-art mixing techniques and we will learn about the theoretical concepts and secrets to achieving professionally sounding results. So let's get started. And if I lose myself, 